Things haven't been smooth at all polling places in our area. Yeah, some precincts had to deal with damp or wet ballots. As CBS 17's Beer Show Ed May explains live tonight, those ballots couldn't be counted on the spot because of the issues. But election officials are saying every vote will be accounted for. Beer Show. Every vote. That's what they're saying over and over again. We heard that promise that this issue with the humidity will not impact voting results. Now, earlier this afternoon, some state election officials actually held an emergency meeting just to talk about some issues at the polls. And then before that, county election officials told us that they prepare for problems. And in this case, that they were ready. So let me break down what happened here a bit earlier in the morning. Essentially, the weather made it so voters really could not properly feed in their ballots into the tabulator. The humidity just really started adding moisture to those ballots. So the protocol here is for polling officials to use the emergency bin to collect ballots. In Wake County, we know that there were more than a dozen sites with these kind of issues. Cumberland County, they saw some of the same issues as well. And we asked officials exactly how they plan to make sure votes at that site really do count. Um, we have bipartisan judges out there and they will make sure that once we get those replaced or get the humidity uh, situation a little bit under control, um, then they're going to be able to feed those ballots into the tabulator. Those are gonna, ballots are going to count just like everybody else. Thank so you. again, you heard that promise that every ballot will count that was at those sites that had some of those humidity issues. I've not heard of anything else so far with the humidity being a problem. The only issue we're hearing right now, at least countywide in our area, has been that apex outage. So if we hear of anything else, we'll bring that to you. But in the meantime, reporting live in Wake County, I'm Beer Shaladme with CBS 17 News.